I'm going to try to finish the modeling on this uh, small cutaway house uh, in this video here. And so what I'm going to do first off is have a look here. Okay, chairs. Okay, cool. All right, so what do we got? Let's do these uh, little, this pedestal. Use a piece of this to make that lamp. I'm going to left click, or actually right click on my 3D cursor there. Shift A mesh circle. I'm going to switch this to 20 vertices. You just choose one that you think is a reasonable number. I'll be using some division surface. I'm not trying to keep this uh, super low poly or anything. Okay, so I'll do something like that. And we'll zoom in on this. I'm going to hit E to extrude. Pull it up a bit. E and S. I'm going to come in to a small enough uh, diameter here. To make the part going up i can change that i'm going to look from the side and hit e to extrude come up about three quarters or to about the middle of that drawer is what i mean mm, maybe a little bit lower than that all right and then i'm going to copy that circle shift d duplicate let's move it up and p to break it out Select it and set the origin to geometry and go back into edit mode for that. Select it and I'm going to hit S to scale and scale it up around the size that I would want my lamp shade. E to extrude and then bring it up. Okay, select the lamp shade. I'll zoom in a bit. I'm going to give it some thickness by going to E and Alt S and I'm going to pull as I come out. Hold Shift to go back in a little bit, just like that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put a subdivision surface on this. I'll probably go for two and smooth. And then I'm going to bring some edge loops in to tighten it up. We'll taper this in just a minute. I'll put one on the inside as well. And I'll come up here. Not really worried about polys, even though I delete back faces. Just want to make it look nice. Not there. On the underside here. On there. And one here. Cool. Okay, just like that. Nice and smooth. Alright, I'm going to come over to the modifier tab here. Let's choose simple to form and taper. And then it's going to pull this number and go the other way. Something like that. Now let's have a look at the end. Uh, oh, I'm making a lamp. <laughs> Apparently, I'm making a lamp instead of the pedestal. That's fine. So we're gonna take this whole thing and we're gonna let's just shift D actually. Oh well, let's get rid of that. We'll do the pedestal over there. Here coming over here. Okay. So that does have to be higher. I want it higher than that. You up to about there. And this guy, I'm gonna come back in. I'll zoom in, Shift Alt, and click on that edge if I can get it. And I bring it up into the lamp there. But I think it's too thick, so I'm gonna Control Plus and come down to the bottom. And I'm gonna scale S Shift Z to make it narrower, like that. I think this got to be a bit bigger. Pull down a bit for this part, okay. I'm gonna put a subdivision surface on this as well. I might be able to get away with just one and smoothing, but with some edge loops. So control R here and pull that in. We'll need another one to come down. Right here, control B and an edge loop. Uh, let's have a look at this, okay. We're gonna need one going, probably just, maybe just one more, just in there for support. It's probably good enough. Now, mm -hmm. I really wanted to do this the way I have the diagram. I could select that and then scale shift Z. It's a bit large for. Okay. That one's a little, looks a little bit smaller than this one, so. Okay, now let's come back over here. This is what I wanted to do. Let's take this and uh, I'm going to shift alt and click this edge. Okay, 
and the combined height I want to go up to half of, maybe to the bottom of, of that drawer so I'm going to pull it down select it all and shift D I'm going to rotate X 180 to copy the whole thing I'll bring it up I can work on all of this in a second and I'm going to shift alt and click that edge and that edge and control E bridge edge loops to put them together I'm going to shift alt and click those edges and X dissolve those edges now and then from the side in wireframe I can grab this I can pull it down to here Okay. back to solid view and I'm going to close this one off E and S and then I'll go mesh faces grid fill and I'm going to choose a low number like 2 I'm going to select this edge shift alt and click that edge and this edge not the bottom edge control B and bevel once the child go for one uh, now if I put the I actually want to see if that's thick enough. It's probably okay. I'm going to see if, again, if I can get away with one subdivision. And then we'll come in and we'll do edge loops. Here, underneath, pulling it in. And one to come up. Same thing down here. Coming in and one to come down. See if that gives it enough. Okay. I just want to have a look here. I think I want to pull this one down. And I think I want to pull this one up just to make it a little bit uh, tighter, a little bit flatter. Not much, that's fine. Okay. And I'm going to do this thing here. And the way I'll do that is I'm going to select one of my circles I already have here, Shift-D. I'm going to pull it up, and I'll scale it in like that. I'm going to break it out and take it, set the origin to geometry, and start shaping that. Okay, so I'm going to call E to extrude, and I'm going to come up and scale in. E to extrude, and I'm going to come up like this and scale it further out. Select it and control like that. I'm going to put uh, edge loop here and here. E and alt S pull out. We have some thickness. Put another edge loop up here and here. I think this thing needs to be taller. Let's uh, scale this in the Z like that. Loop down near the bottom. I'll hit smoothing. I'm not going to make this like a glass. I'm going to make it a solid. The glass doesn't look right uh, in this kind of environment, in this rendering. Okay. That lip might be tapered a bit, but that's alright with me. Actually, I'm going to take this and shift H. Just want to look at the bottom here. I'll just bring one more edge loop down and tighten that up. Let's open at the bottom. No one has to know that. <coughs> Scale it in the Z a bit more. And uh, I'll put a surface in there. I mean, really, there's water, but uh, I'm going to take that edge and shift D and P to break it out. So I've got that. I'm going to take off the subdivision surface and just go into edit mode and F to make a face. I'm going to move it down a little bit like that and S to scale. And uh, let's set the origin of geometry on that and I'll bring it up a bit more. So there's a chance you might see it like a, like a little flower in uh, shift S cursor selected there. Let's scale around the 3D cursor. Okay. So they got selected anything. Okay. Let's shift H and uh, yeah, I had something else selected, so control L X vertices. So now I have just that thing there. Hold on, shift D. 
make a copy. I need a copy. Okay, I'm being sloppy tonight. That's okay. Let's scale it now. There we go. Let me just touch the sides. So we got a plant to do there. I'm just wondering about that. I think it needs to be bigger. Although, let me zoom back out. Yeah, I think it still should be a little bit bigger. That's fine. Okay, so um, let's, uh, my 3D cursor is there. So let's go Shift A, Mesh, Circle. I'm going to switch this to 10 or 12. I think 12. Scale this down. I'm going to make the flower. Okay, let's uh, actually. Uh, let's just alt H. Okay, so we can look down on this guy. Set the origin of geometry and cursor to select it so we're like that. Okay, I'm gonna come in here and in vertex. I'm gonna select every other uh, vertex and scale. Alright, like this. Then I'm gonna select these outer ones. I'm gonna go Control Shift B. I do that kind of thing. Now select it all, E and S will come in, and then select it all and flip polys. Shift Alt and click there, and I'm going to go W, loop tools, circle, convert it to a circle, E and S, and we'll put another edge loop in there like that. So we'll get that. Select it all. Use the period key to focus in on that. Uh, I'm going to hit E to extrude and pull it up. Give it a bit of thickness. Select it all and flip polys. I'll start with subdivision. I'm going to go for two and smoothing. And I come back here now, I think. And I'm going to select all these faces. Uh, am I going to do this? Yes, I am. I'm going to do S, Ship, Z. And I, that's not what I want. Let's switch over to individual or, origins. S, Ship, Z. I'm just going to make them a bit wider. Uh, quite a bit wider, actually, I guess. And uh, I think I'll put an edge loop up just gently and down, not too much, you know, to do that kind of a thing. And uh, my 3D cursor is right in the middle, and so I'm just going to go shift. Actually, I don't think I want that a bit thicker. I'll do an object on scale in the Z, just like that. Shift, uh, shift A, mesh, uh, UV sphere. I'll change this to like. 12 and 6. It's probably too much even. Let's scale it down. Oh, come on in. Scale it down so it's kind of in the middle. Like that. Scale in the Z. And then we'll sort of even it out. That's probably alright. I'm going to put on one subdivision with smoothing. Just like that. Voltage. Okay, let's take this and this and let's rotate Y90. Pull it up. My 3D cursor is still right there. And we'll put in just a thin, thin stem. Use another circle of 20, I suppose. It's probably even too much. Oh, 12. That's good. 12 is better. Real small. Extrude it down into the soil or whatever. Select it, control N. Still too thick. So scale shift Z. Really thin. Move it under. Look right from the side there. Scale shift Z. And we'll GX and move it right under. I'm barely going to see it, but it's there. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to do the leaves. So I'm going to pull this a little closer so it just looks like that. Unfortunately, that is very, very thin. But, but there it is. Unless I make the flower a bit thicker. I might do that. Alright, let's do that. Let's try that anyhow. 
a scale in the axis. See what it looks like if it's a little bit more substantial. Let's scale this in the axis and flatten it. That still looks fine, and I can make this a bit thicker now. Scale shift Z. That's probably better and okay. Better and okay. Let's control G and make that a group. Okay. Cool. There's my little flower thing. The other one that goes up on the bookshelf. So let's. Uh, well, we'll take that in a minute. Um, I'm gonna make lamps. So let's take this and this. Shift T and bring it out and put it up in the bedroom. to globally scale yeah okay this is going to get smaller and this and I, then I'm not going to come up and grab that one look from the side and then pull it down quite low pull that down let's have another look at these quite quite thin eh? So let's hide that let's take this and let's make this thinner well I can do it this way shift alt and click all those and then control plus a couple times just to even to there scale shift Z and just make it really nice and narrow alt H bring that back and bring that up a little bit take this and this and just slide it towards the back Mm, you know, I might want it a little bit bigger than this. So let's globally scale. It's just this just a little bit more substantial, and I'm going to copy that over to here. And then we have the little tiny lamps there. Okay, and uh, up here, um, we have the plant with the pot and the books. And we're very close to being done. So uh, let's uh, shift S, cursor to selected, and let's bring in a circle. Let's go for uh, like 18 vertices. And let's make sure we're in median point, scale it. And uh, see, this is the problem. If you're on face selection, there's no faces there. Where to go? So you guys, if you want to zoom in, switch to something like there are edges, there are vertices, and then you can hit the period key. And learn that the hard way. All right, uh, we're gonna hit E. We're come up. What if we could just taper this? Use the use taper. I'll try it. I'm gonna do that. Um, here, let's give it some thickness. E and Alt S. I'm gonna come out a bit. It doesn't have to be too thick. I'll take that E and Alt S. I'll come out again. Let's see what this looks like with just the taper. Uh, it'll taper the whole thing like kind of weirdly, but I think that's gonna be just fine anyhow. Uh, so let's uh, subdivision surface. I'll put some edges and it. it'll, it'll be kind of weird, so I'm gonna shut that up, uh, shut off the taper to do this. Put edges there, there, there. There, 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 and that's it. I think taper and some D. Okay, take off the taper. What I need is an edge in here. And I need one down here. It's a lot, but I don't care. I'm not worried about the number of polys. It's just a static image, and it's going to look uh, okay, I hope. So there's my pot. Um, Height-wise, it's a little bit big, the whole thing. Scale. 
I'm gonna scale shift set first of all, make it a bit smaller. And then I'm just gonna globally scale a little bit. in it so let's grab the plant Come on down here so group shift G select uh, group shift D to copy it and bring it up from the top G sizes I don't think all right my 3d cursor is right there so I'm gonna I'll make a book uh, shift a circle I'll go for 18 and scale it down And let's uh, shift H, can't do it in edit mode on that, so shift H there, zoom in, set the origin of geometry and cursor to select it. Let's look at this in wireframe, I'm going to box select all these and X uh, dissolve them, or delete them, sorry. Okay, I'm going to uh, set my pivot point to the 3D cursor and scale this in the X. I'll pull those in. E and S, pull out, go up like that, and scale in the X a little bit. Just gotta get it relatively equal. Let's shift and alt and click there. I have to make a face. I can go back into medium point now. And I'm gonna box select all these, E and then come out. Like that, and hit E to extrude and come up. Always. Okay, I'm starting to get a book shape. Scale it all in like that. I'm going to scale this in the Y. It's obviously too thick. Unless you want to read a very thick book. Let's go back into right here. Okay, let's come in and let's. Uh, Actually, we're going to need to uh, isolate it again so we can grab this face and this one and this one, this one and this one. And I'm just going to try E and S. We'll come back in. Okay, so one like that. Let's try uh, Alt and S. Might be better. Might be more what I want. That's good enough. Okay. And. Um, it'll take a bevel you know what it's gonna look just fine just gonna leave it like that I'm not gonna smooth it or anything I'll teach I'm gonna take this and rotate Z 180 let's set the origin of geometry and stop messing around with this let's get the approximate size of these books the shelf maybe is a little bit too tall not necessarily but maybe So I still have solidify on it. That's fine. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger. And I'm gonna make it a bit narrower. Like that. Shift D to copy it. There's two of them. This one I think is a little bit bigger. I could be wrong, but I think I wanna do that anyhow. No, maybe it's the other way around. down here I'm gonna take both of these actually put them in the basement shift D zoom in on you guys 
come on over to the bookshelf for the whatever that is. Let's uh, rotate x 90. Baby's doing that sighing thing. I don't know if he's interested in Blender tonight. Uh, I don't know. Alright. Rotate Z90. Do this. Let's control plus and try scale shift Z right there. Let's make it a bit bigger. So we do need uh, some support there for you. And uh, I think it'd be nice if you were on the floor, wouldn't it? Pod 
it's got to be bigger. And this one's actually going to be a little bit smaller. So like the soil as well, just like that. And then I'll get you and you and you and you and you. And hopefully I got everybody. Yeah, okay, that's good enough like that. thinking for this. Might might just make a stars. Stars and bend them if I can. I'm selecting shift S cursor to select it. Shift A mesh circle uh, twelve. Scale. Moving a little bit quicker. But doesn't mean I'm being very efficient. Um, select every other vertex and scale it in. I don't know how this is going to work exactly. Uh, I still think I need to bevel these a small amount, these outer ones. Right. Control Shift B. So give a little bit of. I don't know what happened there. Control Shift B. Let's give a bit of thickness to this. Okay, let's select the whole thing. E and S. Pull, pull it in. Same thing. Flip polys and um, let's uh, select that again and go. Um, um, what am I doing? Grid fill. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. E and S. Let's let's uh, switch you to to a circle. Can I still grid fill you at that point? Maybe slightly better. Um, now I'm not sure what I want to do here. Um, I might want to just box select the outer vertices. I'm just trying something. I've never done this little planet before, so I was thinking of putting on proportional editing and. Uh, Start pushing, and I know the whole thing will go. So scrolling my mouse wheel up to get a smaller circle, uh, like that. Let's think it's doing this. That's it. Select it, E, do that. Put an edge loop in here, and then maybe one down there. Try our subdivision surface. Control L, mark. What did I do? No, I don't really want to do it that way because I don't necessarily need all those that warping on it. Blue two, you know, just like that. It's pretty small. And so if I do that, shift D. If I bring another one under, just rope, not scale. Well, scale, yeah, but uh, rotated the Z a little bit like this. Take, um, I don't know. Depends how I'm going to shoot this. Both of these rotate in the Y to do that kind of thing, and then rotate in the Z. What an ugly mother freaking planet that is. Not exactly what I was going for, but I suppose it could work. If it's too static render, it's time to throw a lamp in here, a sun. Bring the sun over here, let's say. We'll rotate uh, towards there. And we'll make the sun and the strength 4 and I think I mean 0 0.4 here I start to see some stuff in 3D let's make another sun over here 
probably not going to use these or anything. Just, uh, that's okay. What am I doing? Just want to be able to see in 3D. All right. I will make you like two. We'll, do, we'll, we'll mess around with some colors just, just to make it interesting before we get going here on uh, materials. I think in the next video. Just want to start to see this in 3D. Okay, what we could actually do is get rid of that now that I think about it. And uh, for the world, choose nose and we'll just up the ambient light. I'm just looking to see if most stuff is on the floor. And how it generally looks. That's ridiculous. Basement apartment there. Very cute. So we'll go room by room. We'll just have a quick look. Looks pretty good. And, you know, we can mess with you if you wanted to as well. I could uh, select, say, this and put on a temporary kind of material of some sort and then select everything and then this and control L uh, materials. And it might, you know, it won't reflect as much light and it might be a little bit more pleasant to look at. <laughs> that plant will never be pleasant to look at. I'm just kind of looking at whether things are placed against the wall where I'd want them. That's pretty good. Yep, there's our little 3D place. Alright. So what I often like to do as well at this point is like uh, do a render. Okay, so here's what, what it looks like. So no pillow. That looks terrible. I think what I'll do is uh, I'm going to throw a point light in here, in here, and in here. I'm going to try that. I'm going to take my camera and my sun. And I'm going to move them to the second layer. Select that and Zoom in on that. Okay, hopefully I didn't change anything. Shift A, lamp. Let's put a point light in there. Now, if I just do that, it's going to be blurry. And so what I thought I would do is I'm going to split this into two screens, T and T, and switch over to the node editor and to close that side and this is what I have here okay there's the emission with the strength I'm going to add uh, in where is it under black body there and that's going to allow me to choose the, the uh, temperature of my light I'm going to connect the color to the color I'm going to try 3500 and then I'll get a nice Color. And I'll switch this to say, let's try 20. It's probably still too much. Let's go for five. Okay, and I'm going to go down to three. I'm going to 
use the same. Might adjust some strengths. Where are you? Might have been easier to just redo this and center it nicely. Change this one. Hopefully, I don't change the other one. Copy that. Whether or not you like that. You could change these to a, like, let's say, uh, 4700. Now, a whiter light. Let's see, put that there. I'm not putting a bulb in there. Do a quick uh, render. I'm just going to stop the render at that point and show that uh, yeah, my lights are starting to take shape. Um, I think I'm going to uh, delete this. All right, I'm not happy with that plant. I'm not very good at doing uh, plants. Uh, this one in particular. So I'm going to leave this as this is a bare table, and I'll throw in a quick pillow, and then I'll come back in the next video, and we're going to add really basic materials, just diffuse. I think all the way through. I'll do a bit of lighting and that'll be it. So thanks for watching.